Hey guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to go over updated tips of the Xeon Crane. I made a video of this a while ago, but this is just an updated version of what I've did in the past. So the first thing is the plate. I bought another plate. It's a bit heavier, but it has spirit levels. The locking knob is a bit shorter. So therefore, being shorter, I can actually have it in the same position as all other gimbals, and it can go inverted mode easily without being in that other position I had earlier. Next up is the Velcro, and I bought a thicker one, which I do like. I prefer these over the past. The other ones were flimsy, and they like flare around everywhere. So that's something that was bothering me so I decided to get uh, thicker velcros and they are a little bit stronger than the other ones. Now if it's too short you can always connect them or if it's too long you can always use scissors to cut them. So next up is the moleskin and last time I had it on the bottom and it was um, it wasn't good for the tape but it felt like it came off too much and too easily. So I've decided to move it to the side of, or the upper motors on the side. Actually, this is a good thing because this is actually cleaner and easier to clean and easier to like maintenance and all that stuff rather than being on the bottom and worrying about all the tape that's coming off all the time. Make sure that you check up on the tape because the residue do dry up and they also, obviously they leave residue as you take them off. So of course you can use um, your hands and uh, like a wet paper towel or something but I find it easier with alcohol pads especially when uh, the residue dries up you would you know you would use your fingernails to like scrape it off I find it really helpful if you use alcohol pads along uh, while you clean your gimbal so I made a separate video of this I would recommend the cable as well this is something handy to have especially if you're a GH5 user and being on a GH5 the autofocus is really not that good so it's easier if you just use the thumb to move up or down on the knob to get focus rather than going up with your hand and grab it and then try to get focus or press half shutter. Same with the record button. The button's right on above. You can use it with your thumb instead of going up on your, on your camera again. So that's the updated tips of the video that I had before. Um, I hope these kind of helped you out again. And um, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.